you've been scammed. At least what people who like this video want to say and people who like this video don't want me to say. Those two groups of people are in opposition with each other, one saying that it's scam while another it's not. And today I'm gonna go against both of them. Not my best life choice, but in a search of truth, I'm willing to take this risk because both groups are wrong and it's much more complex than black and white. But let's start from the beginning. Star Citizen was revealed in 2012 with the grandiose Kickstarter opening. Even by then, Gabe was in development for two years, starting in 2010. And people loved the idea. And I was one of the people who actually got sold there, even though I didn't actually play during that time. It was supposed to be the grandiose universe where you can meet with other players and enjoy space, well, things. It was supposed to be the game to kill all the games and it was supposed to show the big devs that gamers do not need them anymore. That from now on, we can fund our own games. And it all seemed and sounded very great. Legendary developer, great concept and well, basically a laid out timeline, getting ready to release the game in 2014. But can you hear that? That's a scam alert one. Because, well, as you might have guessed, it wasn't released in 2014. And January 2014 was actually when I pledged the game. But it wasn't nothing. We still received something. In 2013, we received a hangar module, which sold me, to be fair. In 2014, we got our arena commander, during which we were actually able to fly our ships that we bought. And in 2016, we got Star Marine, which basically showed us shooter and the walking part. 2016. So Arena Commander was released two years after the full game was supposed to release. It kind of smells fishy, right? But I'm not going where you think I'm going. Let's continue. After that game actually released a Persistent Universe, or rather started with a Persistent Universe. So the game that we were supposed to get, well, it started to come out. But instead of 100 star systems, we only received one. It was fine though, we still got four planets. And well, it was all good because we we're going to get more eventually. But we did. We still, in 2023, have only one star system. But do you remember this amazing gameplay reveals on Citizen Cons? Like, for example, the giant worm that was supposed to be in the game, and also, literally, second star system, which was not released, and it was already years ago. Well, can you hear that? Scam alert number two. And probably the first and biggest thing that screamed scam were ships, because ships were outrageously expensive. Yeah, you could get the cheapest ship Aurora with the game, and it was only 45 bucks, you were getting your first ship, you were getting your Star Citizen, and you were getting your Squadron 42, which we didn't even touch yet. But the prices were going only up from that, much higher, up to tens of thousands of dollars for the ships that weren't even in the game yet. And some of the ships still aren't in the game. You hear that? That's a scam alert 3. Another thing that it was particularly weird for me is how much budget and how much work goes into marketing of this game. Have you even seen the website of this game? This website, knowing how much websites actually cost, this is not a cheap website to make and to maintain. And also all those videos and all those weekly and sometimes daily releases talking about different aspects of the game, and those things are not cheap to produce. And if we're not gonna talk about cheap, those things take a lot of manpower it was supposed to be put in the game, but all it does it markets the game that it's not done yet. That's a scam alert for for you. And also, what's weird is that the most people who are covering Star Citizen, absolute majority, and I still have to yet to see some people who are not doing that. All of those people are promoting their creator codes, which gives them additional incentive to play the game, which also gives them additional incentive to promote the game. Is it a Ponzi scheme? Is it the pyramid scheme? Scam alert 5. And all of this sounds suspicious at best, but it's actually, well, kind of not, and it, it kind of is, and it's kind of not at the same time. There is an issue with the development of Star Citizen, but it's not the scamming. Scamming and pyramid schemes and Ponzi schemes, they require some kind of, well, malicious intent. And also, like in case of uh, Ponzi schemes, you should not have any product. You still have a product. It's not the product that was promised, but you still have it. It's not delivered on the time, but it's still being built and we see that it's being built. It's not a pyramid scheme because it's not some generic crap because, yep, people are actually working on developing this stuff and the technology is actually quite impressive. Plus, they kind of need this marketing. Otherwise, people will forget about the game and the money will stop flowing. So they need all of those stuff. So what is wrong with this game? Why we still don't have a game and why it's not even near to completion? And before you're gonna 
compared to other games, other games actually have progress. Even if you compare the games that actually started developing close to the time when Sarsism got developing, I just want to give you one example. Warframe. The free-to-play game was actually was built on microtransactions and Warframe sales, kind of similar to Star Citizen ship sales. The game is out for a really long time and has been expanding and expanding and expanding since then. Yeah, you might say that, oh, that's a completely different scope of the game, but it doesn't really matter. The scope of the game of this game of Star Citizen actually is not that big anymore. It's still only one star system. But what this development showed is the developers are bad at one thing, and it's time management. These people actually have no idea how to develop the game, at least compared to all the other game dev studios. They are literally learning as they go how they develop the game. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of talented people, and I'm, I'm not that pretty sure, I'm absolutely sure there are a lot of talented people that was hired in the CIG, but developing game for 13 years right now, all that you have is one star system, pretty buggy gameplay, and well, you need to deliver 100? That does not sound good. It's not the scam though. Technically, it's not. Should everyone jump on a bandwagon and play the game? No. The game has already enough players, enough fanboys, and enough haters as well. There are actually 4 million people who own the game, and a lot of them have pledged a bunch of money. The game already got more than half a billion dollars. Do they need more? No. What they need to do is get their crap together and actually start developing the game efficiently. Because otherwise, it will be in development hell for the next 10 to 20 years, and the final product will not be worth it. At least it won't be much better than anything that would already release by the time they actually release the game. So no, Star Citizen is not a scam. It's just a very inefficiently developed game. And both people who love the game and hate the game will probably hate me for saying anything in the video. But yeah, you just need to face the truth someday. Well, this will be for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you like. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.